Woke up one night after a really hard leg day and went to the bathroom only to see coffee colored urine. And then over the next few days, rhabdo set in and my legs couldn't bend, my back wouldn't move, and it just really put me down. But I'm back, recovering, slowly but surely. It's been six weeks or so I've been out of the gym, and boy, I tell you, it's just been, uh, that's been one of the hardest things in my life. I, I don't think I've spent more than a week out of the gym in, in 10 years. So six weeks really took a toll on me emotionally and physically, of course. The recovery physically is just as difficult, honestly, in my opinion, as the recovery mentally. But I feel like this gives me an opportunity to really speak to you guys as a coach, humbly, um, from a place of vulnerability. I'm slowly processing Douglas' frutchy death. When it comes to my relationship with Gold's Jim Venice, death has become more and more familiar, year by year, dot, dot, dot. When I woke up at 3 a.m., and the first thing I saw was the announcement of Doug's death, dot, dot. I didn't react, I just had a blant stare. I will admit, I have a love, hate relationship with Cole's Venice. It molded me and turned me to the man I am now. Doug and I will have conversations around 6 a.m. or whatever time we are about to train or train clients, and we will talk about life, and business. Oftentimes we will talk about our demons and how we should handle them. He will advise me on ways to handle my demons, and I will advise him on how he should handle his. One infamous quote I'll never forget that he shared with me that will stick with me for the rest of my life that will come into my mind frequently is you're lucky you don't have to take steroids. I didn't know how to react to that statement, but it was a statement that made me reevaluate my problems. To where I said to myself, I really don't have any problems. I have my issues, my problems, my demons, and etc. But the madness I've witnessed and spectate from a distance at Gold's made me aware that I should be grateful what I have, who I have, and where I come from. Thank you for those who reached out to me, dot, dot, dot. Shad Gaspard, Marcus Brown, and now Douglas Frutchy. Death is something that will cross my mind every week on why I need to be successful and many other factors, Doug, will always say I don't know what it's going to be, but me and you are going to do big and major things in due time. Chad and Marcus will share that same energy with me, and now I'm carrying the torch, along with few people who I call friends, 